Dear Jason, what does a vegan have for breakfast? I will admit, when I first saw the subject line of this email, I thought I was being told a riddle. But he actually goes on. He said, Dear Jason, what does a vegan have for breakfast? No, 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 I, I get it that you obviously have some kind of protein and fiber or something, but I can't figure out what the fuck you would possibly eat for breakfast. Dinner? Yeah, sure. Lunch? I could figure that one out. But breakfast? I can't possibly imagine waking up and not having bacon and eggs or cereal and toast. What does a vegan have for breakfast? I'm glad you asked. Oddly enough, I get questions like this all the time. People say to me things like, Jason, where do you get your calcium? Where do you get your protein? Well, there's plenty of places where you can get all of that stuff without going to, you know, uh, meat-based diets. I mean, where the hell do you think the cows get the protein? It's not like they're carnivorous. Or, where do the cows get the calcium? Interesting fact is that um, in countries where they don't actually drink milk, um, levels of osteoporosis in women are actually considerably lower. They believe that this is because uh, the milk throws the pH balance of, of your body off, and your body, which is a hell of a lot smarter than you are, reacts by pulling all of the calcium out of your bones to uh, counteract and, and stuff. This is shallots. I love shallots. And this is a frying pan. I don't really love these, but they're, they're very helpful. I think carnivores use these too. I eat a stuff called Earth Balance. It's like a soy butter. And believe it or not, the first time I had it, I thought I was actually having butter. So I put some of that in the pan. Uh, along with my shallots. I usually put garlic in there too, but I... I don't know, it's Wednesday, I'm out of garlic by this point. And that just goes on like that. And then I put that on to like, uh, yeah, I don't know, like sort of in, in and around, say, mm, there. That's going to melt. We're just going to leave that. The next step is to grab a bowl and um, maybe a block of tofu. About you know, that big. I like the extra firm stuff. You're going to need a fork. Now, what I do is I slice up my tofu just a bit to make this just a little bit easier. You don't have to use a really sharp paring knife, and it's probably not the best idea to use it in the morning because you're going to cut yourself, especially with tofu, which is really, but uh, you know me, I'm kind of extreme. Mash up the tofu a little bit with this fork and kind of create a sort of scrambly kind of consistency. You can choose exactly how chunky and lumpy and solid you want this to be. Once you are done getting that to be the consistency that you want it to be, I add a little bit of this stuff that's called ground meatless. Okay, it's sort of like a ground beef type textured vegetable protein. It's actually really tasty, um, and although you might not want to eat it directly out of the package, um, it, uh, it, it's, it's actually really good for adding flavor and consistency to something like this. This is where you can start getting a little bit creative. I put together a collection of chili powder, turmeric, salt, and pepper, and I put that into my ground meatless and tofu mixture. And then I, well, I mix it. If you're not actually making a sort of one person morning cooking video, you might actually want to put some oatmeal on on the side. Um, which I'm going to do, but I'm not really going to tell you about because everybody knows how to make oatmeal, right? But just in case you happen to be one of those people who doesn't, in fact, know how to make oatmeal, um, uh, I, I put a third of a cup of uh, dry, plain, instant oatmeal 
into a um, saucepan with a full cup of water, um, and I put it on high, and then and then you pretty much just leave it for a couple of minutes, and, and um, no sugar, no flavoring, just plain oatmeal. Trust me on this one, we're gonna dress it up in a minute. By this point, your shallots have begun to caramelize. And that is when you pour in your mixture of your tofu, your ground meatless, and your spices. And just kind of toss that around just a little bit. Now this is the point where you kind of need to do it by eye and by how much you personally like it. Um, I usually add a little bit more of my uh, of my fake butter at this point just to kind of make it a little bit more oily. Now the reason that you don't really have to worry too much about, um, there's a pit bull just walked into my house. Um, the reason that you don't really have to worry too much about mixing it up in the bowl is that obviously it mixes up in the pan and this is where your turmeric winds up coating everything. Turmeric, by the way, has been shown in a few studies to uh, stop memory loss and even seems to um, lower the possibility of Alzheimer's. I forget where I read that. Just gonna mix that in just a little bit more. This should be on really low heat. You don't need it to be too hot. And our oatmeal is almost done there. Isn't that lovely? Here's where a very big piece of personal like and or dislike comes into play. Vegan cheese. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, by itself, this stuff is absolutely disgusting. It tastes gross, it doesn't really smell that great. Um, I don't, you don't wanna, it's, it's, you're not eating this, you know, on crackers or straight out of the, my dogs eat this for some reason. I mix it in with their food, I don't know, it gets them to eat it faster. But what I do is I take just a little bit, and I mean like just a little bit, and I add it to this just as a, and it melts, and it creates a, a sort of flavor and texture, and yeah, I know, I'm wearing the most ridiculous underwear to cook in. Get off my dress. Ah, uh, oatmeal. Just unflavored oatmeal. Yeah, I know, nobody likes it. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw some slivered almonds in there. We're going to take a few dried black currants. That's just lovely. A little bit of flaxseed, just a tiny little bit of that. And then, of course, a dash of cinnamon. And then we're going to mix this up with a fork that we... Oh, here we go. See, and this has none of that sugar, it doesn't have any of those nasty things, it tastes really good, it's really good, slow burn, it's a great side dish. Um, I don't know, when I'm not making it with one hand, it usually looks a little better. And then the final step, of course, is that we take our lovely tofu scramble that has been thickened and bound up just a little bit by that melted vegan cheese and our oatmeal, and a nice cup of tea. And that is what, well, it's what I have for breakfast. So it's really good for you, and um, there's no animal products, um, and no trans fats, and no nasty fake flavors. Um, you know, it's, it's good. You know, keep asking me questions. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have my breakfast. And I won't eat in front of you because I always get hit me on when I do that.